Yeah, so the weather's taken a change today. It's gotten cold, windy. Oh. So hopefully it's not going to be like this in a couple of days. I've got a few. Well, we've pretty cool plan in a couple of days, not tomorrow. Yeah. So I just realized something as I was walking up here. Not a bad view to start with. But I, Baku is actually the lowest capital in the world, I believe. It's about 30 meters underneath sea level. So I've now technically been to the lowest capital in the world and the highest capital in the world being La Paz. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna make my way to the top there and that'll give us a good view of the flame towers. So it is an amazing fire theme when it comes to this city. Not only you've got the fire mountain, the fire temple, you've even got the fire skyscrapers. Cool. Now I'd like to have a good view of the city, but unfortunately the weather's not doing so good today. There was actually a lookout point back down that way, so I might go down there, be able to climb, see how well I can, see if I can see anything. It's clearing up a little bit. Wow. Ah, so this is day 99 of my travels. It's been long, it's been intense, it's been great. I've got maybe another month and a half to go. Uh, it's been a long ride. We've done a lot, we've seen a lot. It's been fantastic. So, after here, we'll be going to Georgia, and then we're going to be going to Armenia after that, so we'll see how that goes considering. And then after that, we'll keep it a bit of a secret until then. We'll be flying off to a few further places abroad. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Christmas and New Year's plans, those, they're going to be great. So it's a kind of a view of Baku. Can't see a lot, so you got the Baku Eye there, Ferris wheel. Got a flower shaped uh, shopping centre. And then that's, there's a little cylinder building to the left of it. I believe that is the Carpet Museum. Oh, it was such a nicer day yesterday. It's got a beautiful golden design, this particular mosque. Very beautiful little garden over there. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like the weather's finally cleared up nicely. About an hour or two early at the lookout. But that's alright, hopefully I'll have something similar tomorrow. This is a very strange metro I've just got myself in. It's quiet. Um, oh, that metro was a bit confusing. I think two stations were right close by each other, and I went to the wrong one. But I got there eventually in the end. So 
So I got off the bus a little bit early. It's bus 147 to Yan Ardag. Got off a little bit early. Just went to go and have a little look around here. But I feel like I should probably turn around and head back to catch the rest of the way. I'm not lost. I've just seen some interesting places. I found myself here. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> Although I just sometimes wonder why I get myself into places like this completely randomly out of there. Oh. Okay, so I messed around quite a bit to get here, so that was a bit silly of me, but we are at the Burning Mountain. I'm actually going to come back here tomorrow, I think, but let's go have a bit of a look around. Oh, this is cool. Ooh, so as I mentioned before, Azerbaijan is on one of the largest natural gas fields, and one of the side effects is this Burning Mountain. So it's actually nice and cold today, so maybe I'll go down there and uh, warm up a little bit. Oh, that's nice and hot. Oh, God. <laughs> So I'm actually very curious about what actually causes something like that. That's really unique and very cool. Ah, oh, I live with this sort of stuff. Stuff that's like, why is there a mountain on fire? Why is this a thing? totally kind of reminds me of a place I kind of want to go to, even though it's not great. The uh, Gates to Hell in Turkmenistan. Not far from here, actually, but <laughs> not this time. But that, that was a colossal mistake that caused that to become a thing. If you haven't looked it up, look it up. Gates of Hell. There's also many, many mud volcanoes around this country. If you go about 70k south of the capital, you've got about 400 of them. One of the most, most in the world, I believe. Ah, oh, that's gonna be such a cool place to go check out. Now, there's lots of fire-themed stuff here. And there's the flame towers, the burning mountain, got the mud volcanoes, and there's also a fire temple as well. That'll be the next stop tomorrow. Um, God, just this sort of stuff is just great. And of course you've got to indulge in the Instagramming tags, hashtags, let's be honest. The guy at the hostel was telling me that it, um, tourism here is quite new, so I guess anything like this to grow it um, would do them very good. It's definitely one of the reasons why I came. I think about this. Let's go back down and have a look. Have a look. So, the natural gas created eternal fires around the area. So naturally, it became known as the land of fire. And religious fire works being known as Zoroastrianism is what is basically the worshipping of the god of fire, which is what's happened here. Um, it's also remarkable that they were treated with, like, Zoroastrians were still treated with respect even after the majority of the country became Islam. So that's quite respectful and quite interesting. I am curious about the Zoroastrianism. There you go, got it that time. <laughs> I might have a look at that. The uh, Ateshka fire temple is one I want to go to as well, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, it's just really cool learning about this Zoroastrianism being in a place called the Land of Fire. But... I could do this all day. 
<laughs> okay, now that was some very cool place. Just random fires that just sort of pop up everywhere around Azerbaijan. Hence why it's called the Land of Fire. Ah, oh, I love this. Alrighty. Ready for more fire. Let's go.